Yo guys, what's up? It's Amphium. Uh, today I figured I'd show how to install GSC menus for Black Ops 1 on Xbox. Um, I haven't seen too many people really do a tutorial on this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Uh, so maybe that's why there's no tutorial, but I do have a couple people that uh, ask, at least in the XP Online Discord, how to set this up. So I figured why not just make a tutorial on it for everybody. So uh, all you're going to have to do is download the Infinity Ops XCX for the plugin. You'll need your launch INI. Uh, you can either manually edit it or you can just edit it through Dash Launch. And you'll need a menu of your choice. Now, if you are using XP Online, listen closely. If you are using that as your stealth service, you uh, don't need this plugin at all. You can skip these two. You'll just drag the menu right in your BO1 folder. Uh, but if you're using anything else, you will have to set this as a plugin. Uh, so, first off, we'll just install the menu itself. So, all you have to do for that is put it into your Black Ops 1 directory. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I already have it in here. Um, but that's all you got to do for that. And then if you are using the plugin, you'll just have to go to the uh, main hard drive. And you'll just have to copy the, uh, the plugin right over there. And you'll just edit your launch INI. If you don't know how to do that, all you got to do is right in here. Infinity Ops. And then you just save that and drag it to your console, or again, you can just do it through Dash Launch if that's how you set your plugin. Alright, so we're all set with that, so what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to load up Black Ops 1. Now, if you're using the plugin, I believe it will show up, um, like with a little pop-up or a notify. Now, since I'm using XP Online, it's not going to do that, so the only way to really test it is uh, to go into a private match. So I'm just going to load that up here. And the menu should load up for us. And there we go. Now the supply, uh, same stuff supply for all menus uh, as far as I'm aware. So any zombies menus you might use uh, should all work the exact same way. So you just have to put the menu inside of your, uh, inside of your game folder and then just Either use the plugin or just launch your game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, and that's all you gotta do. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you later.